Hi everyone, this is Eric Folks, Instructional Technology Coordinator for Lampasas ISD, and today we're going to talk about how you add mail, contacts, and calendars, specifically an Outlook Web Access email account to your iPad. First thing we're going to do is go into the settings, then we're going to scroll down on the left hand side until we see mail, contacts, and calendars, and then we're going to click on add account. We're going to choose the exchange account type. Then we'll go ahead and put in our email information. Go ahead and leave the description set as exchange. If you were to change this description, then it would change the name of the email. But for our purposes and to make it easier for you to get things set up, you might want to just leave it as exchange so that all your screenshots match my screenshots as we go through the account creation process. So next thing I'm going to do is click next in the top right hand corner. Then it's very important here in the server that I put this in exactly as it appears. So lam passes one dot is corp. Com. For my username, I'm going to put in lampasis slash and whatever my, I typically would use to log into my Outlook Web Access account uh, on a computer or a laptop, whatever the case may be. Notice I left the domain empty and open and blank because uh, that helps with account creation and setup. Okay, so again, make sure the domain stays blank and the server is put in exactly as I have it right there and typically you won't have any problems. I click next, it's going to give me check marks to verify that everything was set up correctly. Normally I turn off reminders because I don't use it very often and I always turn off notes because they're not really used as part of our Outlook Web Access account. Then I'm going to click save. It takes a minute to add the account but then you can see it indicated right there we've got the exchange email that has been added to it if I click on that row it'll take me into the settings for that particular email account and you can see if I click on the row for the account name well, there's my email address up at the top I can adjust any of those settings or change my password if I need to I can also change the mail days um, that are synced, so how long it's going to sync my mail. So if I click on that towards the bottom there, by default it's set to one week, but I could set it to a month if I wanted, or a single day, whatever uh, I wanted, including no limit. Keep in mind that the longer the sync is set up, the more space it's going to take on your device. So I usually set mine to one month. Then I click back. And at this point, I click Mail Contacts and Calendars to back out again. And at this point, I should be all set up. So I'm going to press the Home button to get out of there. And then I'm going to look for the Mail app. You can see it in the bottom left-hand corner of my screen, but I can also just drag down on the screen and start typing uh, Mail um, to pull up the Mail app as well. Okay, We want that default one that's just called Mail, not the other one. So I click on that. And you can see it takes me straight into the last email um, that I was in, but um, it takes a few minutes for all these emails to sync to the actual device itself. So um, if I need to, I can drag down on this to scroll up all the way up to the most current ones, and you can see it's still kind of coming in, so it takes a little bit of time for all the emails to come in, depending on the length of time you set it to sync. But there are a few important things to know about how this looks and functions on an iPad. First, um, notice I'm in landscape mode, okay, and the directions I'm giving you are based on that because I think it's the easiest way to work with email on there. Um, in the top left-hand corner, you can see Exchange. That's the name of the email account or the inbox that I'm in. But if I click on that word Exchange, it will show me all of the inboxes that I have available to me based on the accounts that I've added to the iPad in the top uh, left hand corner there. You can see I've got a Gmail, an iCloud, a work Gmail, and Exchange. I also have an all inboxes account so that I could see all of them at the same time if I wanted to. And that's usually what I leave mine set on. If I click on any of those inboxes, it's going to take me to that inbox and show me all of those things. 
So if um, I want to see actual folders, individual folders, I can click on the section down to the bottom left where it says accounts. I've got the Gmail, iCloud, Work Gmail, and Exchange set up. This is where I would actually see folders that are associated with my account. So if I click on Exchange in the bottom left, you can see all of the different folders that I've got and have created and associated with that email account. So I can go into any of those folders pretty easily and depending on whether or not there are files in there, I can always click on any of those in order to see it, okay? And it shows up over there. Notice how there's a slight gray background to the email preview on the left-hand side when you are viewing it uh, to the right. So that's just a way of indicating um, to the user that that's the email that is being viewed at the time. So if I click on this one from Discovery Ed, you can see it shows to the right, but it's grayed to the left. All right, so that covers the basics. We um, will probably be talking in a future training about how you can work with uh, email and um, send and receive email and stuff like that in more advanced ways. But for right now, know that we've got the trash can in the top right-hand side. If I wanted to um, put any of my emails in the trash, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that one to um, put it in the trash. You see, saw that it got um, taken straight up into there. I can also click on the little arrow to reply forward or print emails. I realize that printing is dependent on you having a printer set up with your iPad. Whole nother topic. And then I can also click on the little pen and paper in the far top right hand corner if I want to compose an email as well. And you can see my email signature, the account that I'm sending it from. If you've got multiple accounts, you can click on that to actually choose which email account you're going to use to send it. And if you actually start typing, depending on the uh, accounts that you've got set up, it'll actually start looking for uh, any email addresses associated with that account um, to help you pre-fill those email addresses. All right, thanks again for your time. My name is Eric Folks, Instructional Technology Coordinator for Lampasas ISD, and you have just learned how to add your Outlook Web Access, your school email, to your iPad. Congratulations.